Hello there all my lovely jewelry makers, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make this regal braided wirework bracelet. So if you like any of the ones that I made here, I will have them available for sale in my shop. The link straight to that will be in the description box down below where you can also then sign up for my newsletter so you don't miss any future updates. Otherwise, if you want to learn how you can make one for yourself, then keep watching. So these are the materials that we'll need. Now I'm using a regular round silver coated copper wire and this is a 0.8mm. Then for the beads I've got 4mm rounds and these specific ones are faceted blue coated hematite gemstone beads. And then I've got 3mm rounds and these ones are faceted silver coated hematite gemstone beads. Now of course you can use whatever you want to, just make sure the holes in the beads that you use are large enough for the wire to go through. Then the tools we'll need is first of all our flush cutter so we can cut our wire, chain nose pliers to help manipulate the wire, I'm using my 6 step bell making pliers to make the loops with but you can easily use round nose pliers, and finally I've got a spring clamp to help hold the wires in place while we're braiding. Now you can check out the description box below the video for the material list and useful links that might be helpful, otherwise let's get it all ready. And let's get started. Then we need to cut some lengths of our wire and what I have here is eight lengths of about 35 centimeters each and I've just put them through my spring clamp and left about five centimeters or so so we can make our loops and then we're ready to start braiding. So now to start braiding I just want to separate my wires out first of all. So first I'm just splitting them down the middle and putting them towards each side. So I have a group of four towards the right and a group of four towards the left. Then I'm just going to separate out the two inner ones from each of those groups. So I have a group on the right with three and a group on the left with three and these are all going to work as one length as well. So three wires will work as one and then I have the two single ones in the middle. So this is going to be a basic four strand braid but Obviously we're working with three in some of the lengths so that's what's going to kind of be the difference. Now to get started what I want to do is bring the outer ones into the middle. So on one side I'm going to bring it underneath the single one here and I like to just put my finger where I want my curve to be. So get a nice rounded curve and then bring it underneath the single one into the middle. On the other side do the same thing put a curve into it, but this time I'm bringing it over the single one. So it's opposite but again into the middle. And now in the middle here we need to also cross these groups over and under each other but it needs to be opposite so I actually need to bring the one from the right that I just brought in underneath the other one and that is what creates the braid that we're always bringing them over and under over and under and this is kind of just getting the braid started and then I'm going to start adding my beads in as well now the beads will always be sitting on the single wires because obviously we can't really add the beads to the three at the same time so first of all on the outer side I'm always going to be adding my three millimeter ones so just add it let it drop all the way down and the same add one on the other side add it to your wire and let it drop all the way down so they sit up against the group so three wires there and then we need to make the next movement and this is going to be the same principle as before so the outer one on the left is coming over previously that means I need to bring it underneath the group of three to bring it into the middle so I'm going to bring it underneath and then I'm going to make sure that that bead just stays in that outer corner gets trapped in place bring that into the middle there and on the right it comes underneath the group of three previously so I need to bring it over now when I bring it into the middle and again make sure that that bead stays in that corner now in the middle here I'm going to then bring it underneath the other one straight away and then we just want to settle it in place so push any wires that you need to and that's then added the first two beads on the outer edge there now before doing the next movement I'm going to add my beads on the inner side as well so again I'm doing it on the single wires so I'm just grabbing two beads here so I'm just going to choose the one that's crossing over here so that's my right one it doesn't really matter which when you choose but add your two beads to that same wire let them drop down then I just need to make sure that the first bead comes on the other side of the other wire there and the second bead is on the opposite side so basically we have the wire that doesn't have a bead on currently is crossing in between them so it looks a little something like that and the next we just need to continue with the braid so I'm just going to start on one side the group of three wires here we need to bring into the middle and we just need to check that it needs to come underneath the inner wire there and again you can always put your fingers on the the wires to first of all make sure they stay flat next to each other but also to help get that curve in place which now we also have the bead to help with that bring it into the middle and then on the other side we need to bring it over now just make sure these beads will stay in this little area so put your fingers on there bring it over the single wire and then I'm also just going to bring it straight away underneath the other group of three and again you can use the bead make sure that they're sitting close to each other there with the wire in between them and just bring them around the bead like that and then they're already in position 
direction. We now have the two groups of three in the middle and they've also crossed in the right direction in the middle there. And then we've done that bit. Now we need to do the outer edge again, where I'm gonna add a three millimeter bead to each of the outer single wires. Let that drop all the way down. Add the other one to the other side, let it drop down and then just make the next movement. So the outer left one here needs to come underneath in my case. Just check where it's coming from before it's over. So that means it needs to go under and into the middle. And then on the right side, it needs to be opposite. So it goes over and into the middle. And I'm just bringing it underneath the other wire straight away and get them in position. So we can now add the inner beads there. So I'm taking two of my four millimeter rounds and I'm gonna add them to the same length. So the one that comes in the same direction. So the beads in the middle are gonna sit in the same direction every time, a little bit at an angle. Add them both to that same wire, let them drop all the way down and then make sure to push the first bead on the inner side. And then the second bead is sitting on the opposite side there with that wire crossing in between them. And then we just wanna do the next movement. So I'm gonna bring the outer group of three. Now this needs to come underneath that next inner wire, bring that into the middle. And then the one on the right side needs to go over and into the middle. And then I'm just gonna straight away, bring it underneath the other group of three. And again, put your fingers on it if you need to, to help keep them flat and use the beads as well to help put the curves in there. And there we have our next section of beads added. And you basically just continue like this throughout. Next, we need to add them to the outer edge and you just continue like this until you reach the length that you need. So now I'm in my full length here. Then I'm gonna finish off the ends. So I'm just gonna show you on one and I'm just gonna be making loops as well. So I can attach my findings to that. You could use the wires to make the whole clasp, that's up to you. But what I'm gonna do is first of all, finish off the wires that are in groups of three. So as you can see here, this one is coming underneath the single wire. So what I'm gonna do is all together, I'm gonna push them over the top of the single wire. There's a basic back on themselves, just all the way, basically wrap them around that single wire, something like that. Then I'm gonna go in and cut off the excess. Now I'm gonna make sure that I leave just a little bit of a length on the wires where they're bending over. So just a couple of millimeters or so cut all the way across. Then I get my chain nose pliers and right now they aren't kind of tight around the wire. So what I want to do is push them tighter around the wire so they also don't move and the ends are not sticking out. So obviously it needs to be comfortable to wear. So just push the ends downwards, kind of back on themselves. Also, so when you put your finger over it, you can't feel them. Then I'm going to do the same with the other ones. I'm just going to flip it because here it's common opposite. So again, I'm just going to wrap these three wires as if they were one. So all all together around the single wire. So over the top and back on themselves. And then again, go in and cut off the excess. So we're left with some short little tails and then just squeeze them down and get them out of the way. And once you've then done that, we're left with the two single wires that are crossing right there at the end. What I'm gonna do with them is just choose one of them. It doesn't matter which one and just put a bend into where they're crossing and have it come straight out from the end there. The other one, I'm then gonna wrap around it where that bend is. So just do a few wraps, something like that. Go in and cut off the excess. Make sure to squeeze down that end of wire. Then we just wanna use the last remaining wire to make our loop. So I'm just gonna bend it to the side just a little bit above where the wraps are. Then place my six step bell making pliers or your round nose pliers. I'm just gonna use the smallest step on that bend. Bring the wire all the way back around to create a full circle like that. And then I like to place my pliers on the circle to make sure it holds its shape while I'm then wrapping the rest of the wire here around underneath. So basically that little space Space that we left. So just wrap it until we meet up with the other wraps that we did and then we can go in and cut off the excess and then just make sure to also squeeze down that end. And then you have your loop where you can attach your finding to. So just repeat the same thing on the other end. So now I've attached my clasp and extender chain there. Then it's time to shape it. So you can either shape it around something like a bracelet mandrel or you can just use your hands and fingers. So go in and start putting a curve into it and just go back and forth from side to side until we have the two ends meeting up with each other. So we can obviously use the clasp and then your bracelet is done and ready to wear. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now I have loads of other tutorials for different braided bracelet designs on my channel. So feel free to check that out. And don't forget, these will also be available for sale in my shop. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.